it's Alice. Welcome to Whistle Bear. This week on the vlog we thought we would talk a little bit about the hidden costs of all our fashion choices. This is particularly on our mind this week as it's Fashion Revolution Week. Now the Fashion Revolution movement came about after the appalling collapse of the Rana Plaza building in Bangladesh in 2013. Nearly 1200 textile workers were killed. The aim of Fashion Revolution is to improve the situation of textile workers and to minimise the environmental costs of the manufacture of our clothes. They aim to achieve this by putting pressure on manufacturers to demonstrate transparency at all stages of manufacture and supply. We can all contribute towards this cause by asking the question, who made our clothes? Here at Whistle Bear, we have always been guided by environmental principles. We work very hard to minimise the carbon footprint of all of our products. And in addition to that, welfare of our animals is absolutely paramount. All of our yarns come either from our own animals or from other local farms whose standards of farming and welfare we respect. I for one am happiest knitting a jumper and wearing a jumper when I know that the yarn that the jumper is knitted from has come from animals that lead happy, contented and cared for lives. Um, this is one of Whistle Bear's own patterns and a number of you will know it, a number of you will have even knitted it, um, but always out of our beautiful Yevering Bell. So we decided to just see how it came about, knitted in our lovely Cheviot Blue. So this is the Cheviot Blue 4-ply and it's three skeins, just the same as in the Yevering Bell. And um, I have to say, I love it. It's a completely different texture than out of Yevering Bell, but it's a really easy to wear everyday jumper. The ridiculous thing is, is I woke up this morning and it was a beautiful hot sunny day and I thought, this is perfect. I can do a lovely vlog with my nice summer outfit. Um, but then by lunchtime, it was freezing. It is freezing, it's raining, it's overcast, it's miserable and we've had to light the fire. Those of you that follow us on Instagram will see that last week I made a very exciting purchase. I bought an overlocker. I've never owned an overlocker before, but I'm trying really hard to start making a lot more of my clothes. It's one thing knitting beautiful jumpers, but what about the rest of me? Um, I really enjoy dressmaking and having an overlocker means I can just have a more professional finish and sew things a bit more quickly. The first things we made were our skirts to wear on the stall at Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Kirsty, Tess and I all had skirts out of the same fabric, uh, the idea being that we would be a, a team and you would be able to find us easily and talk to us, but lots of people came up and said how lovely we looked, which was really, really nice. There was some of the fabric from our EYF skirts left over, however, and so I decided to make another skirt and one of the things I really wanted was pockets. I love clothes, um, but clothes have to be practical. And for me, that means pockets. So I have this lovely pattern. It's called Brumby by Megan Nielsen. And as you can see, it has fantastic pockets. In the pictures here though, it's quite a short skirt, but short skirts in the summer don't go very well for me because it's pretty cold in Northumberland and my legs never get tanned so I like to cover them up. So I have made my Brumby as a maxi skirt and I am really, really pleased with it. It's got pockets and it's long and it's full and it's really comfortable. We talked last week about going to Dublin Wool Festival next month in May. 
um, and how we were knitting for the woolen wardrobe knit along. Well, the woolen wardrobe craft along if you like actually includes anything that you make to wear at Woolen. So I have decided that my pretty new skirt will be coming to Dublin and so if you would like to see it you'll be able to see me on the stand wearing my skirt and my bubble jersey. What are we knitting? Well both Tess and I are taking part in the Woolen Wardrobe Knit Along on Ravelry and as I showed you last week I am knitting Lakeland by Fiona Alice. Um, I haven't made a lot of progress since last week. I have divided front and back and have started to knit up the front. This is out of our Yevering Bell Aran in Causeway. Um, but I, I haven't made huge progress because I've been busy sewing. And it seems I'm, a, I'm not only a monogamous knitter, I, I think I'm a mon monogamous crafter. So I'm either knitting or I'm sewing. But I will get back to my sewing very... Uh, Sorry. I will get back to my knitting very soon because I would really like to try and get this finished in time for Woolen. Tess, meanwhile, has remembered her knitting. Hooray! So here it is. The much waited for Morgan Cardigan by Katrin Schneider. Once again from the brilliant Lane magazine. Issue 4. Now here it is. Now this is a big chunky cardigan. Um, it's knitted in Fisherman's Rib and in our Cheviot Marsh Double Knit. This colour is wonderful rich dark green and it's called Pine Martin's Lair. Um, anyway, Tis, Tis, Tess has, she's knitted the neckline and the raglans and she's starting to go down the body. As you can see she's got lifelines all over the place because poor old Tess isn't getting on with Fisherman's Rib very well. She knits away and everything's perfect and then she loses attention a little bit and the next thing you know you've done a row of ordinary rib and Fisherman's Rib is the devil to undo. So she's putting in lifelines so she can just rip it back and get going again. It's making me wonder whether I should knit a Fisherman's Rib cardi because there's one in my queue. I'm not sure whether I'm going there. Anyway, I think this is going to be fantastic. I know I'm going to be very jealous. So that's bringing us to the end of this week's vlog. Just remains for me to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the comments that you make on our vlogs because the feedback really helps us to know what you like to see and to encourage us to keep going. Um, finally, please do get involved with Fashion Revolution because if we ask the questions, we can make a difference.